Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Devotional for today on May 29th. The year 2023 coming to you from Church of the Palms in Sarasota, Florida. Let us center ourselves by listening to beautiful piano music. The scripture reading for today is Psalm 135. I am not going to read the whole psalm as it is a little long, so I'm going to be reading different verses of Psalm 135. Here is the word of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Give praise, O servants of the Lord. You who stand in the house of the Lord, in the courts of the house of our God, Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good. Sing to his name, for he is gracious. For I know that the Lord is great. Our God is above all gods. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does. In heaven and on earth, in the seas and all deeps. He is who makes the clouds rise at the end of the earth. He makes pilgrims, no, he makes lightings for the rain and brings out the wind from his storehouses. Your name, O Lord, endures forever. Your renown, O Lord, throughout all ages. For the Lord will vindicate his people and have compassion on his servants. O house of Israel, bless the Lord. O house of Aaron, bless the Lord. O house of Levi, bless the Lord. You who fear the Lord, bless the Lord. Bless Blessed be the Lord from Zion, he who resides in Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. The new Bible commentary, 21st century edition, tells us that Psalm 135 is repeated call 
to praise God. And a communal praise only has the value that each individual contributes to it. The pilgrims worship together, but personal conviction is essential. God is everywhere, active everywhere. God is active everywhere. The Lord chose his people because he so wanted them for himself that he came to dwell among them. And this psalm ends the same way as it started, saying, praise the Lord. Have you recently found a reason to praise God? Are you aware God is everywhere? I have been taught by my parents, my Sunday school teachers, and my professors at Bible college and seminaries most of my entire life that God is everywhere at all times. And I can talk to God anytime and that I should be listening to God all the time was another t thing that I got taught a lot. Still, I forget some of those teachings a lot of times. My father was very big on giving thanks and praising God, even when things were not so great in our family's life, such as when my youngest brother, Richard, died. My father still praised God for taking or relieving pain and suffering from leukemia from Richard. My father praised God for taking Richard home to eternal healing. Did he not grieve? But of course, my father grieved deeply for his youngest son. But he said to me that it is good to lose Richard, whom we loved very much to God, because God loved him even more than we did, and God healed him eternally. Back to here and now today, I have been very worried about work and life in general. I get anxious easily. I kind of hide it well. So most of the time, most people are not aware, but I am easily anxious. All through my life, I've been like that. Recently, I worried about getting my work done because it is about serving people and more people. Monday morning, I was vacuuming our kitchen floor very early in the morning with an empty mind. I hear the words of Jesus, Peace I give to you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, my peace I give to you. The vacuum cleaner was still going. I looked around and I was overcome or overcame rather by peace all over my being. I saw no one as I was looking around, including my husband who was still asleep in our bedroom. I finished my vacuuming and sat down with God in silence. Then I had my Bible reading and praying and meditating as usual. By Tuesday afternoon or yesterday afternoon, I sat down at my desk and started organizing my Google files as Pia Spivey had taught me how to do it three summers ago. It turned out I still remember how to do that. I got all my small groups sorted out I created new Google files as our high school graduate Ava, Ava Upstein had taught me a couple of weeks ago. Turned out I still remember how to do that also. I was at peace. Now I was happy also. Today on Wednesday, as I write and record this devotion, one of the scripture assigned to today is this very Psalm 135 which begins and ends with praise the Lord. There are really many reasons to praise the Lord every day. Please join me in praising the Lord every day. Let us pray. Our most gracious and loving God, teach us to praise you every day. Teach us how to find reasons to be grateful for our lives that are your gift from heaven. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.